So, welcome to the car. Um, this is Eric Johnson. I'm working through the 20 steps to fish health. We've covered the uh, kind of the introductory video, explaining what all these videos are about. Now we're going, uh, knocking it down by the numbers. We've done one through five, and we are on number six, which is nitrate. It's another water quality test. There's actually a couple of water quality tests I need you to run before we get started with the fish disease outbreak. Actually, by now, there's a 60% chance you're not watching this video because you've already found out what the problem was. It was a high ammonia, high nitrate, too cold, underfeeding, overfeeding. There's so many things you've already ruled out. But if you're still looking for the cause of the problem, the next thing to check is nitrate. It's the end of the cycle for uh, beneficial bacteria in a system. What I mean by that is ammonia is produced by fish. We learned that in the, the video on item three or four. Ammonia's pee is basically fish pee, and it's broken down into nitrite, which can kill fish a whole different way. Then nitrites are broken down into nitrate, which is what we're talking about in this video. And the nitrates were, uh, for the longest time, regarded as non-toxic to fish, and I'll tell you why. It is exactly like saying that lead is non-toxic to children who eat paint chips. Because in the studies that they did on nitrates, they waited a minute and no fish died. So they said, eh, eh, not toxic. Problem is, like lead, you can eat paint chips for a long time uh, before you end up president of the United States. Um, because lead builds up in the system and nitrates work cumulatively on the system. Um, very immune suppressive. So when you're running fish in a high nitrate level, one of the symptoms you'll see is dilated blood vessels in the fins. That is notable. Great big veins uh, creeping down into the fins of your goldfish. That's a really good indicator that you're having a nitrate issue. Um, fish that just die in dribbles and drabs. You don't have fish dying like an overnight fish kill is not from nitrate. Losing half of your fish at one time is not from nitrate. But having fish that never heal, like they get a sore or a scrape or a bump or something and they never heal up or it takes them forever, great indicator of a nitrate problem. Fish that have trouble breathing, increasingly difficult time until just about all your fish are breathing heavy, even if the water's nice and cool. That would be a good indicator of a nitrate problem. Fortunately, nitrates are easy to test. Um, you can also assess whether you have a nitrate problem um, not just by a dip uh, test kit, but by the uh, well-being of your plants. If you have a ton of algae growing in a system, or you have a ton of live plant material growing, or you have anacris choking the fish out, that is a great indicator that your nitrate levels are actually good because algae and plants use nitrates. That's why I cultivate uh, live plants and algae. When I was a kid and I didn't want to dick around with... Um, live plants, what I would do is I would allow the algae to grow on the two sides and the back of my fish tank. I would only keep the front scraped off because that coating of algae on the back and sides of the fish tank was all I needed to control nitrates, the subject of this video. So let's not look at algae as a terrible thing. Uh, and in general, with well-doing plants and a coating of algae on the bottom or uh, sides of the pond, back glass of the fish tank or whatever, nitrates probably aren't your thing. But uh, test it anyway, and if you're having a problem with nitrates, uh, and that would be anything running chronically over 80. Nitrates up to 120 are just eh, and nitrites, or excuse me, nitrates over 180 chronically will be killing fish in dribbles and drabs, as long as you have them at that level. So nitrate, it's a, uh, not a fast fish killer but it's a chronic fish killer. It's immune suppressive. It was not tested long enough by scientists in the 40s uh, to determine that it was, in fact, indirectly terminal to fish. Um, interesting study that was done on alligators in water that are high in nitrates. Um, reproductive uh, fertility, egg layers, greatly reduced at high nitrate levels, uh, threatening, actually, certain species of alligator in certain water, body, water columns. Um, I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, so that's nitrates. Nitrates are used by algae and plants or water changes. Constant replacement of water in the form of a trickle system, 
I'm going to have a whole video on that, maybe two. Um, constantly replacing water will keep nitrates at bay. Uh, cultivating algae and plants do the same thing. So test for it. And uh, there's one more test I think I'd like you to run, and that's in the next video.